Hello everybody and welcome to PlayStation's Crossbar, your home of everything FIFA related. Whether you're a huge football fan or a keen ultimate team player, we will have you covered in today's episode. My name is Brandon Smith and as always, joining me here on Crossbar, it's Richard Buckley. Rich, we're here again for another episode of Crossbar and I tell you what, it's going to be a packed one, isn't it? It is indeed. The FIFA 21 season is officially underway. The competitive season is brewing and I cannot wait to get into it and talk about some of the best FIFA players on the planet. Well, as always, we will be covering the Open Series and giving you a couple of tips at the end from Richard to help you in your FIFA game. But before we do that, let's head into the news because there's so much to talk about in the world of FIFA. Well, first and foremost, the FIFA 21 competitive year has officially kicked off. We've seen Europe play, Richard. We've seen West Asia. More importantly, we've seen South America all take part. And talk to me, Richard, what's been going down in the world of FIFA esports? Yeah, it's all been kicking off uh, literally on the pitch. We see Oli Bolly here, successful four team makers in the European qualifier number one. Basically, what happened... Um, if you're unfamiliar with the FIFA Global Series, you've got to get foot verified and then you play in these huge qualifiers, over 1,000 players all fighting in Europe to claim the number one spot. You then earn FIFA Global Series points, which in turn earn your place into the playoffs at the end of the year. So congratulations to Oli Bolly. But it's been happening all over the world, Brandon, not just in Europe. Yeah. It really has indeed. I mean, there's someone else that we need to talk about, and it's Sergio Aguero's esports organization. It's going to be Matthias Bonanno, the Argentine. We're normally speaking about Nicholas here on the PlayStation. It was Matthias that picked up the result in South America, an event that we were lucky enough to commentate on, Richard. And I mean, a new name, a new name emerging from the PlayStation. It's exactly what we want to see in competitive FIFA. Yeah, Nicholas has ruled the roost, you would say, over Argentina and over South America on the PlayStation 4 for the last couple of years. So it's great to see not only Sergio Aguero getting his uh, getting himself involved in FIFA Esports, but also another Argentine player stepping up to the mark and almost stepping out of Nicholas's shadow. I heard through the grapevine that Nicholas said he is the one to watch Matthias Bernano. So let's see if he can let's see if he can do it in the rest of the year. Well, speaking of another tournament that took down, I mean, we'll give it a shout out. It's got to be a, a Meshul of West Asia who won his PlayStation side. More names popping up across all of uh, the continents and the regions that are part of this FIFA 21 Global Series. And if you're thinking, we haven't spoken about North America, we haven't spoken about Oceania, that's because those tournaments take place in January 2021. kicks off with a bang, the 9th and the 10th uh, of uh, January, that event will be underway. Richard, any names at the top of your head we may have seen qualify yet? I know qualifiers have recently been underway. Yeah, absolutely. In Oceania, you want to be looking out for Marco uh, from Atlanti, I believe it is, the esports organisation. He's going to be a real threat from Australia. And also in North America, Club World Cup champion for Team Complexity, Joxan qualified through the loser's bracket. So if he wants to get his hands on that silverware, it's going to be a tough task on the 9th and 10th of Jan. Yeah, it certainly is indeed, Richard. We can't wait to take you through all of that action in 2021. But that's enough for FIFA Esports for now. Let's turn our attentions to FIFA 21 Ultimate Team, Richard. I know you've always keeping yourself on the pulse in terms of new promos. There's been a Christmas promo. Talk to me about it. There has indeed. Footmas has been revamped and now we have Foot Freeze. As you can see, the team that was brought out in Foot Freeze, but it's a lot more than just a starting 11. There is SBCs coming every single day. It's unbelievable. The first one we got was Marquino. Since then, it's basically position changed SBC. So um, imagine players... For example, um, Adama Traore, he might be coming out as a striker. Um, players like Anthony Martial, typically in one position, might be getting position changed to a left wing or a right wing. It's really, it, it lets the mind run wild with these promos. And I'm really looking forward to see what else comes out over the festive period with the foot freeze promo. Because I think the majority of the FIFA community have said this has been a real success so far. 
Yeah, it really has been rich. And I mean, there's always that debate about players wanting to use wingers in that striker position. And Sadio Mane, a perfect example of that with that foot freeze promotion. As always, do let us know uh, who you are using in that foot freeze promo and maybe who you want to see involved in it in the future. But there's one more bit of news, Richard, and it's a huge, huge piece of news. And that is involving the PlayStation Open Series. I know we always talk about it because it's an opportunity for you guys at home to compete, to earn some prize money, some FIFA points, some dynamic in-game themes. It's massive news, Richard. What is it? Yeah, it is indeed. And that is that the Open Series is coming to Ultimate Team. This is going to be generational. We've been asking for a long time. Brandon, we want to see Maybe it moved closer towards what the FIFA Global Series is doing within the Open Series. And I can officially confirm you that in January 2021, we're kickstarting the year in style because the Open Series is coming to Ultimate Team. Brandon Smith, you've got a few more details. Oh, we've got so many more details, Richard. Of course, that means that we are going to be moving and transitioning over to FIFA Ultimate Team, which we can't wait to be involved in. We've been involved since the Open Series kicked off. Uh, in FIFA 20 earlier this summer, in, in fact. Just reading out some of those facts now. So the Foot 21 Open Series starts with the first qualifier on January the 4th, and that'll be, be part of the January Open Series, which will have Foot 21, Club 21, and also Club 20. So if you still are on FIFA 20, we've got you covered. We've got you covered in all shapes and sizes and always possible. The Foot 21 Open Series January monthly final will be broadcast on the 31st of January. We're going to be involved in that one. We look forward to commentating on the action. The Club Open Series December monthly final. So this month, if you want a little bit of taster of competitive FIFA and FIFA 21 before we make that shift into Ultimate Team, again, we'll see you on that broadcast over on Twitch or on YouTube. And then the Foot New Year kicks off with an unbelievable way. 26th of December, seven days. Seven tournaments, Richard Buckley, 200 winners from each tournament. And guess what? 250,000 plus worth of FIFA points for each tournament. Unbelievable. I, I, I'm running out of superlatives to describe what the Open Series is going to be. We've leveled up, Brandon. We've gone from head to head. We're now stepping into Ultimate Team and I cannot wait maybe to see more uh, foot verified players coming into the Open Series. I think the competition level is going to step up and I cannot wait to be at the forefront commentating all of the action come January 31st. Yeah, we can't wait for that. And again, we'll say it one more time. If you want to get involved, a link will appear, I'm sure, below us somewhere. Compete.playstation.com. Sign up today, get yourselves involved. And if you can leave this year with some unbelievable FIFA points, you are truly laughing. But we spoke about the Open Series. We spoke about what's coming up this month. And next month in 2021 and, and so forth. But let's turn attentions to how you know how November played out. Who was the winner in November? And let's move in to our open series recap. Well, Richard, we were back in action in November for the FIFA 21 PlayStation Tournament Open Series. And we saw tournaments in both Europe and North America. Surprise, surprise. France were the team that is still being used. They've had a couple of additions into their team. They still are the best team in terms of club teams to use on FIFA 21. And we'll talk about sort of Europe first, what happened down there, because it was Stingray that came out on top, a, a UK FIFA player. Yeah, absolutely. And a player that has really improved in FIFA 21 as well. Actually, both finals went down to a penalty shooter. I think that just goes to show the actual sort of competitive nature that the the open series is delivering right now there's no more blowouts there's no more games that are um like seven nils in the finals we are getting super competitive games as you can see the brackets here north america flashed up first and this is the european bracket that you're seeing right now just look at the scores um he won his first game in the quarterfinals against Nedelback 5-0 and then 3-2. Then in the final against musti arabachi it was a 5-4 penalty shootout it, it really is some of the, the top up-and-coming FIFA players in the world, in Europe and in North America, competing at sort of gladiator-esque level. They're fighting it out, they're battling it out, and we get to sit back, commentate, and watch all the action unfold. Yeah, we do indeed. And it, it honestly must be said that these guys, you think how good they are. Like We saw a couple of these names, Richard, in that first sort of EA qualifier. There were a couple of rounds away from playing against the likes of Volleyball, those big names on the PlayStation. So honestly, if you fancy yourself just trying it out, 
That's all part of the Open Series. Well, we flip on its head. We'll talk about North America. Got a little bit ahead of myself there when we saw the bracket pop up. <laughs> North America went down, Richard. And again, a new winner there and a new name, again, emerging from, from North America. It's what we want to see. It's a new FIFA 21 year. It's a new game title. And the PlayStation Open Series just continues to get more and more popular, so it seems. Yeah, it really does. And I think the the addition of then coming into Ultimate Team as well in January, I think I'll be very intrigued to see how the people that we sort of associate with the Open Series, Bosniano, King CJ on the PlayStation, Mitch Hayward, another one, even Stingray that was victorious in November. How are those players going to transition into January, into Ultimate Team? It's really going to be interesting to watch the landscape of the Open Series potentially change. If you want to be part of it, again, compete.playstation.com to get involved. Yeah, and as we said, Richard, as well, remember, we have got our monthly finals, 29th of December. Get it in your diary over on PlayStation's channels on Twitch and on YouTube. We'll be taking you through all of the action. But before we move on into Richard's tips, my favourite part of the show, take a look at this. These were the best goals that were scored in the November PlayStation Open Series. So you can have that piece of luck or that piece of trickery. What a ball that is, Antoine Griezmann. On the end of it again, he seems to be the star of the show here in North America. Just searching for anything more than a consolation. Lovely ball over the top. Kingsley Coman, he can drive forward. Can he try and score? Coman, lovely little La Croqueta. Good point. Here we go. Ben Yedda looking to find a cutback. Does do well just to tease the two defenders. Come through the open series. Chance here. Kingsley Coleman again utilising that first time fake shot. Oh, Beautiful well back hit. Got to create one more chance. Got to make something happen in the final third. Chance in Bappe. I'll be going all square. Cheeky oh. chip. It's the way to score this year. Ronan has been. Oh, well done. Oh, Firmino. That's absolutely superb. And to a different level. To conclude the game, to book a place in the final four. Ben Yedera, the goalkeeper, as composed as you like. And that will be game, set and match. And there we have it. Those are just some of the best goals that were scored in the PlayStation Open Series in November. Rich, I'll come to you because there were so many goals scored. Could you pick a favourite maybe or is it a little bit too hard to call? Brandon, that's like asking me to pick my favourite child. I can't. There were too many good goals scored for me to pick one out that I enjoyed more than the rest. But I think the one word, because I'm, I'm down with the kids, you know, I'm a hipster, as, as we like to say. I think the, the word to describe some of those players and some of those goals was cracked. They, they, was, they were just out of the mind uh, playing FIFA 21 right there. And I think the big thing for me, I've said it previously, I think the level of competition, I think the level of sort of expertise in the Open Series has, has slowly improved. It's been a gradual improvement. And I think we're hitting some of the best players in Europe and North America right now outside of sort of the foot verified competition level pros. I think this is the best that we're looking at. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how that transitions into the Open Series in 2021. Yeah, well, as we said as well, Richard, if you want to get your goals featured, maybe on an episode of Crossbar, get yourselves involved in the Open Series. And fingers crossed, we'll see you in the new year in 2021 on FIFA Ultimate Team. Of course, that is the big news. We are moving to Ultimate Team. But yeah, that's a wrap for the Open Series for the month of November. Remember that the finals, of course, take place on the 29th of December. We'll be taking you through all of that action on the Twitch channels and the YouTube channels of PlayStation. And I think it's about time for my favourite part of any Crossbar. Crossbar Show. It's time for Richard's Tips. Well, I think we're three episodes of Crossbar down, Rich, and the segment still is alive. So um, there's someone out there that's enjoying Richard's Tips. And fingers crossed it's helping you guys at home maybe go from gold to elite in weekend league. Talk to us about what tip you're going to be showing us today, Richard. Yeah, just before just just before you, you carry on criticising Richard's tips, Brandon, I actually saw the analytics, and this is the most watched part of the show. So <laughs> there you have it. Um, look, this week we're talking about formations. And in FIFA 21, we've had a number of patches where formations have come and gone. I'm picking out three formations, including the tactics and instructions in FIFA 21 that you should be using. These are sort of tried and trusted formations, instructions, and tactics. If you're struggling in FIFA 21, check this out, and I'm sure you'll improve. In FIFA 21, formations are a critical part of winning or losing. And in this Rich Tips, we're going to be looking at three different formations that are suitable in FIFA 21 post-patch. As you can see, we've got France here on the screen. 
And the first formation we're going to be using is the 4-2-3-1. Less about personnel and more about tactics and instructions. So the tactics on this 4-2-3-1, balanced, 4 width and 4 depth. On the offensive, we're going 4 width, 4 players in box, 2 on corners and 2 on free kicks. This is more of a defensive 4-2-3-1. As you can see here by the uh, custom instructions as well. We're going to do them live for you right now. We're going attacking runs getting behind, support runs stay central. On Ben Yedder, all we want is get into the box for crosses. On our two defensive players, um, the wide cams, they're going to be come back on defense on Martial, come back on defense on the supportive uh, runs, but then also get into the box for crosses. On the two CDMs, stay back while attacking and cover center. This is the big important thing for the two CDMs cover center it makes sure that they stay in position as you can see that is the best one the other two formations i'm going to show you we're just going to fly through these very quickly indeed a 442 with the tactics five and five and then you can see the offensive there as well more about the instructions stay about while attacking on the fullbacks two center mids you want stay um nothing on pogba on kante stay about while attacking and again cover wing you want to switch that to cover center. That's what you're looking for. On Coleman, stay wide. This is where your pace is going to come from. The last formation that we're going to be showing you is the 4 triple 2 As you can see on the tactics, exactly the same. You don't really adjust much with the tactics. It's more about the instructions. Stay, stay, stay central, get him behind. On your wide players, get into the box for crosses and stay forward. This is an all-out attack. If you need a goal in the last couple of minutes, switch to the 4 triple 2 and I'm sure you will find success in one of these three differing formations. And there we have it. Those are just a couple of the best formations to use in FIFA 21 from no one else other than our Richard Buckley. And Rich, I think this is going to be the last time I get to sort of speak to you before 2021 and obviously our Open Series monthly finals. Yeah, absolutely. Look, 2020 has been an unprecedented year, but we've, we've managed to, to stick in there, Brandon. We've uh, been steering the ship of the Open Series and it's been a very successful year for not only ourselves, but all the players. And we thank all the players as well competing in the Open Series on PlayStation because uh, you make our job a lot easier. Yeah, it's been an absolute whirlwind of the year in terms of the opportunities we've had with PlayStation and Crossbar in the Open Series. But, I mean, that's a wrap for today's show. We've spoken about uh, the Foot Freeze promo, everything that's happening in the world of FIFA Esports, the Open Series moving to FIFA Ultimate Team, and, of course, so much more competitive FIFA to come in 2021. So that's all left for us to say is happy holidays to everybody. Happy New Year. We'll be back in 2021. But before we do that, we'll be back for those Open Series monthly finals. I've been Brandon Smith. He's been Richard Buckley. And until next time, we'll catch you very soon. Bye-bye.